See, it is the continuation of our previous relation to the price indexes. So, consumer preference for price indexes may we have measured with the help of Pashi index and now the second is the Lesbier index. So, Lesbier index is again it was developed by a German economist and its name was given on the name of that German economist and in this index mostly we are going to utilize the quantity of the commodity from the base period and when it is developed from the quantity index that the previously developed now what we are going to take that in the quantity index these quantities were explained and these all quantities are now substituted with the particular commodities quantity at the base period. So, in Lesbier index when we take this all the commodities quantities they will be expressed with the notation of B means base period. And as we have explained in the form of Pashi index that consumer is not only utilizing two commodities rather he is utilizing a series of commodity. So, when there is a basket of goods might be consumer is having 10 commodities or the 15 and he want to compare over various time period. So, then he will be able to compare when we take that in numerator we will take the sum of all the commodities that are at base period and we will multiply with all these quantities with their respective prices of current time. So, in summation I can say that it is the summation of all the commodities prices of time period T with their commodities quantity at time period B. So, divided by all the sum of the prices at time period B multiply by their respective commodities quantity at the time period B. So, the numerator will be the expenditure on all the items at the current time period T as compared to their respective base period. So, when Lesbier index is greater than 1 or it is less than 1, what does it mean to the consumer? We will explain in the next slide. Here we are going to say that this index is also having certain merits and demerits. When we say the advantages, we say that this is very easy to calculate and it is cheap because in this all the factors that we are going to construct the quantities of base period are here and that quantities data have already been collected over the years and quantities for the future they are not needed to be calculated here. So, here its calculation it gives us a very meaningful comparison of the index that is attributable only with the change in the price. But the certain disadvantages that it have that over the time from the base period to the current there is a possibility that due to the utilization of technology various features have been added in the same commodity or there may be the change in the quality of that parameter or at the same time there can be possibility that the consumer from the base period to the current period has changed its preferences or he is able to substitute certain commodities of with relatively cheaper features, but now that commodity that he has substituted is having more features. This example we can take like this. When a mobile phone has come to the market in the market, there were a lot of added features, but the price so, if we look at today's situation, it will be more than Over the time of 5 years and again 10 years like this, we can say now that one mobile is having many added features. 
तो वही मोबाइल जिसकी आज से 20 साल पहले उस वक्त कीमत तीन हज़ार थी अगर उसकी हम आज के मुकाबले में हम कंपेयर करेंगे तो देट कैन नॉट बी कम्पेयर क्योंकि आज के मोबाइल में एडिड फीचर्स बहुत ज़्यादा हैं और वही एडिड फीचर्स आज हमें चीपर मिल जाते when we want to utilize this index in real life it is not possible to explain because numerator mein aur denominator mein jo prices istemal ho rahi hoti hain wo different level pe ho rahi hoti hain to wo difference of prices ki wajah se hamare liye calculation possible nahi hoti usko aasan karne ke liye hum ek isme expenditure index ko include karte hain and expenditure index mein न्यूमरेटर में जितनी भी कमोडिटी है उसकी प्राइस और क्वांटिटी तमाम की तमाम करंट टाइम की होंगी और जो डिनोमिनेटर है उसमें प्राइस एंड क्वांटिटी जितनी भी हैं वो बेस पीरियड की होंगी सो वी विल यूटिलाइज दिस इन आवर कैलकुलेशंस सो इफ लेस्पियर इज लेस देन वन वी विल से लेस्पियर इंडेक्स इज लेस देन आवर एक्सपेंडिचर इंडेक्स एंड keeping in view this this equation we will now cross multiply our this equation and when we cross multiply our this part of denominator it moves here and this part of denominator it moves here and this upper left side numerator it going to be cancelled out with the other side and we see that now on the left side we are having all the expenditure of the commodities at the base period and on the right side we are having the all the commodities quantity of the current but in the prices of the base period and we can say that the consumer he is better off in time period t than in the year b अब अगर हम इन दोनों के एग्जाम्पल को करते हैं तो हमारे सामने ये आता है कि पार्शे और लेस्पियर में कहीं ना कहीं कोई डेफिशिएंसी किसी एक में है और कुछ प्लस है ओवर द टाइम वी हैव नाउ कम टू नो दैट द पार्शे इंडेक्स एंड द लेस्पियर इंडेक्स दे आर हैविंग सर्टन एडवांटेजेस एंड एट द सेम टाइम सर्टन इट इज एडवांटेज टू ओवरकम दिस सीनारियो इकोनमिस्ट हैव डिवेलप अ न्यू प्राइस इंडेक्स दैट इज कॉल्ड फिशर प्राइस इंडेक्स and this fisher price index incorporates the effect of both indexes in the form that it is the weighted average of the parshe price index and the lesbier price or we can say that the consumer is having the 50% effect from this and this so economists utilize both price indexes and then take the weighted average of these two indexes and explain them in the weighted average form in the shape of fisher pricing thank you